Take one of my interview for Melita's documentary on marriage equality. My name's Tiana Trotz. I'm 18 years old. I was born in Portland, Maine, but was raised in Nashville, Tennessee, and British Columbia, Canada. Question number two. How would you define love? I don't really think that love is meant to be defined, but if I were to try and put words to what I think love is, um... I would have to say that love is reckless. It's a commitment, but furthermore, it's not just a commitment, it's devotion. And love is an ability. It's not something that it, everyone's fully capable of. Um, I do think, however, in this day and age, that the definition of love is a bit cheapened. I mean, we say that we love someone, but in the same sentence, we say we love tacos, it, and um, though there is no perfect definition of love based on what I believe, I'm told that love is patient, love is kind, does not boast, it is not proud, it is not self-seeking, it keeps no records of wrong, it does not rejoice in wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth, and I'm told that Love endures all things, hopes all things, and love believes all things, and love never fails. Um, question number three. How would you define marriage? Um, marriage is a mutual commitment, and yes, it's recognized by law. And that's really all it should be, um, though I do do think that we take it a little lightly these days, you know, marriage should be like a, you know, like locked and loaded, and I mean, we say it in marriage ceremonies and sickness and health, rich or poor, better or worse, and until death do you part, and I think, I mean, we see divorces all the time around here, and I think that marriage should be taken a lot more seriously than it is, so... If we're going to be serious about the equality of marriage, we should be serious about the definition of marriage first. Um, question number four. How has religion affected your life? Are you religious? Um, were you raised in religion? Um, religion has affected my life in every way possible. Um, it has become my posture towards life and my purpose and my hope and... Yes, I am um, a non-denominational, sorry, non-denominational Christian. I was raised in a Christian home. We went to church. Um, I was first raised Catholic and then Episcopal. Um, we were raised in the church, but it was something we didn't really talk about as a family. It was something that we all kind of had to discover on our own. Though I did go to a Christian school growing up. And, you know, I did have an environment that was really nurturing towards my growth in my religion. Um, question number five. What role do you think religion should play in the equality of marriage? Um, if I had to think about it, you know, religion shouldn't. Um, marriage is marriage. And it has been adopted by plenty of people who are non-religious and so, you know, marriage is a right, just as your right to freedom of religion is. Um, you know, and they're both options. You both choose your religion, and you choose if you want to get married. So, you know, I really don't think that religion should play a big part in marriage. Um... Number six, what personal instances with this topic have you encountered? I have had plenty personal instances on the topic of same-sex marriages or marriage equality in general. Um, I've known a couple who've been together for 30 years and would love um, to get married. You know, that commitment's something that's really important to them, yet they can't. And then I've, on the other hand, I've seen... Um, someone who was married to a man for a number of years um, then left him to be with another woman and she would love to really make that commitment to her but yet again can't 
Um, on the flip side, I've seen people who have been so hurt by how um, people treat the topic of same-sex relationships that he's taken his own life. So, um, and just the environment that I work in, I work very closely with, um, you know, this topic and whether it's spoken or not spoken, I think that it's very relevant in this day. So I'd say that it's something that is kind of personal because it does affect the ones I love. Uh, question number seven. How would the banning legalizing of gay marriage affect your future? It, uh, the banning or legalizing of gay marriage wouldn't affect my future. Um, it would affect the future of others maybe, or people that I really love and who are very dear to me, but it wouldn't affect me. Um, it's not my place to say who people should and shouldn't love. Um, but I do believe that everyone should respect everyone's right to matrimony. Um, and though it doesn't affect me, it would affect a lot of people I love, and I think that it's really important. How? Okay, next question. How do you feel about separation of church and state? Does this apply to marriage equality? I think that right now we are treating the topic of marriage equality as if the church and the state aren't separated, though I believe that, you know, church is church, state is state, state isn't church, church isn't state. Um, I think that they are very different, and I'm very disappointed in the way that we treat it as if they are not. And, um, I mean, they should just be completely separate. There shouldn't even be a question about that. Okay, next question. What would you want people to know? What would you want to tell someone about marriage equality? <sighs> um, I would just like to say that for those deciding um, or who are undecided on the topic of marriage equality, to have an open mind, um, especially if you are from an older generation. I think that um, it wasn't common for them to be raised as if this is wrong, that was set in stone, like they didn't even think it would be an option for uh, same-sex couples to get married. Um, so for those who are undecided, I would say to have an open mind and to look into it a little bit more. Um, personally, on behalf of the church, I'd like to apologize to any of those hurt by the topic and how religion is intertwined into it. I think that a lot of people have been extremists and haven't um, responded to the topic with love. Like I personally think that Christians should um, and have condemned people and judged other people for their decisions and if God doesn't show favoritism, um, neither should I. So uh, I think that's all I have to say about that right now. So thank you from Meletta for letting me do this. I thought it was really cool. So thanks. Love you. Bye.